I'm not going anywhere with him. Well, get him out of here, or I'll send him to the angels myself. I've got nothing to lose. Garrett, if you could give us a few moments for some holy prayer. Well, you didn't know there was any other kind. What are you waiting for? Get this hypocrite out of here. I just need a few moments with our young Ronan, for I can see the real man in his eyes there, even though he's trying so hard to hide it. All we need is some prayer. Five minutes. Thank you, guard. Wee little church around the corner. That's brilliant. He was going for it. He's already suspicious. Yeah, well, you let me worry about that. As soon as we get outside, you run like hell. I'll meet you at the pub three blocks north, two east. I've got all the IDs set up. Okay, thank you. I appreciate what you're trying to do. You shouldn't be here, though. I ain't going nowhere until I take you with me. Blessed Father, please help this wretched creature. Uh, deliver him from his ignorance, from his, his, his arrogance and his, 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 his hyperbole. Interpol says it's been a mix-up. Ronan O'Reilly, you're free to go. Blessed Mary, Mother of God, another miracle delivered. Well, you met Suzanne in Africa, so you know what she's like. Yeah, I just met her. While she was steering you out for the car, she seemed pretty reasonable. She isn't. Were these incidents, were they, were they attacks? No, you know what, it's, it's nothing for you to worry about. Jason is protecting me, it's gonna be fine. He's good at that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm staying with him. And I'm not allowed to go anywhere without bodyguards. And uh, he says he's gonna get this guy and then I can go back to Rome. I do love living there. <laughs> Can you come visit, you and Emma, please? Or yes. you can come live with me. <laughs> we'll come visit. But I'm so happy you're here. I'm worried about you, though. No, no, don't worry about me. Jason is the best bodyguard. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh, believe me, I would never get involved with your relationship with Jason. Uh, oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. There's no relationship <laughs> with Jason. You. Remember this. You cannot have a relationship with somebody who never listens to you and who orders you around all the time. Okay, well then I just have one more question. What? Have you seen Sonny? Well, who do we have to reach to get the case closed? Just find a way, Diane. Thank you. Well, well, well. Seems business as usual. I'm sorry, Jax. I'm busy right now. Well, I'll keep it brief. Okay. Brenda's in town. Leave her alone. I saw Sunny in Rome. How did that happen? I don't know. How did that happen? He said he got my email and my phone number from me. <laughs> you know. When I saw him, it seemed like we'd been away from each other for hours rather than eight years. So you got along? It was really good. We talked and we said goodbye. And um, that was it. I actually didn't think I was going to see him again. But here you are, you're back in Port Charles. I went over there right away to tell him I was going to be here for a while and that I was going to avoid him for all the right reasons. And Sunny pops a bottle of champagne and tells me that he thinks maybe we can get it right this time. Well, maybe you can. I mean, is that what you want? I don't know what I want. You know what I don't want? I don't want to get hurt again, and that's what always ends up happening. That's what happened before. I mean, for reasons that no longer apply. You're free now, so is he. Maybe... It'll actually work out this time. Do you know how many times I've cried over Sonny? I mean, strung out, curled up in a ball, can't eat, can't sleep, can't move, and then finally just, I don't feel anything over anything. Maybe he was too much for you before. Or maybe you actually needed time away to grow up, figure things out. You've done so many wonderful things with your life. Maybe you're ready now. When she gets so smart. <laughs> Brenda's built a good life for herself. 
the decency not to dismantle it. You see, here's what happened. I came home yesterday. Brenda was in my home, okay, waiting for me. And we, you know, we had champagne, we chatted, and very nice. Yes, it's always nice until the bullets start flying, isn't it? What are you doing here? Aren't you married? Well, off again, on again, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> is, is, does Carly know where you're at? Oh, I'm a fool. Yes, yes, yes. Because here, here I thought that, you know, with everything you kids have been through lately, mm -hmm. that maybe, just maybe, you're ready to take some responsibility to realize that you are an ongoing threat. I thought maybe you were willing to put Brenda's welfare first. Well, let me give you a word of advice. I know this is hard for you, okay? But you go home and you take care of your wife and I'll do my best to take care of Brenda. Look, I just can't deal with school today. Did something happen? I got invited to a party. That's great. It's great for you to meet new people and make new friends. Yeah, Mom, I can't go. Why not? Why can't you go? And who, whose party is it? Allie, Allie, it's this girl Allie. You probably met her at the country club. She's friends with Christina. She was a very nice girl, so why can't you go to the party? Well, for one thing, her, her, her family's gonna be out of town, there's gonna be drinking, so I can't do that. You don't have to drink? Yeah. Well, what if, what if somebody starts to start a fight with me? You know, these, these, these people, they've seen my, my, my picture in the, the, the paper, they've, you know, uh, know my, my dad's son and everything, and, and it's, like, it's like a challenge to these kids, they, they feel tougher if they pick a fight with me. And that's what happened my first day at school. I just, I just don't want to... Okay, stop, stop, stop. Have you talked to Jason about this? Yeah, I know, it's fine. I talked to Jason about it. It's just, he... There are certain situations I'm not ready to deal with, and Allie's party's one of them. That's, that's, that's all. You gonna sit around here all day? I... I need to think. No, you want to sit and brood, just like your father. You have choices, okay? First, you can go talk to a therapist. No therapist, Mom. No. All right, no therapist. You could switch from... Madison Prep to PC High. But what you can't do is sit around here and shut down. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You remember when you were little and I used to let you play hooky from school? <laughs> Yeah, I used to pick me up for dentist appointments, but we really went to go get ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. I would love to do that now, but that's just not gonna fix this. I'll tell you what I do know. I know that you are strong enough to do this. kind of helps when you point all the options that I have and choices. It's just, even if I don't make them, it just makes me feel a little less trapped. Well, the choice you don't have is to sit around here all day. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, if I, I'll get bitten up for being late, though. That's okay. I can say I took you to the doctor. <laughs> You're the best mom. You really are. You're my kid. I'm always going to fight for you. Now go get your stuff. Okay. Go. Uh, did you actually find it? I did indeed. Uh, is it a bad time? Nope. Johnny was just leaving. Let me know if the cops start asking you any questions, huh? That I can do. Why don't you even mess with this joker? <laughs> it's nice to see you too, Johnny. Isn't this yours? Yes. I am so happy you found it. It belonged to my grandmother. The singer? Mary May. You would have loved her. Where did you find it? On the floor at Jake's. How did you know it was mine? I mean, of all the women who could have dropped a bracelet at Jake's. Can I have some blackjack left? Oh, 
that you expect me to do when I see my son's picture in the newspaper saying that he's a hired assassin charged with double homicide. Thank you, Dad. I really appreciate you, you know, coming and trying to help us. Oh, cut it out. You could have helped out a little bit if you hadn't been so damn stubborn. And what's this making a broken down old atheist like me try to prove there's a God? Now that's just sick. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It, it, it presented itself. You were great, really. You were, you were fantastic. Really? Yep. Huh. Well, I'm just lucky that dear old Father O'Malley has marked up his Bible this way before I relieved him of it. Okay. Interpol. How did they get involved in this? Uh, one of their agents approached me, his name was Bates, about impersonating an Irish assassin for hire. Ronan O'Reilly? Yeah. Yeah, had less than 24 hours to go undercover. What are you supposed to do? Well, they're after this uh, upper echelon guy called the Balkan. O'Reilly worked for him. Well, working for Interpol sounds like fun, if you don't mind a bit of death and destruction. What happened, cowboy? When I left town, you were happy to be a cop in Port Charles. 